Vikings 623. Has anybody been watching the recruiting Kirby Smart has been doing the last four to five years? I think we all have. Will Oklahoma recruiting get to that high level? Well, Brent Venables is off to an amazing start. I don't know that he's recruiting quite at Kirby Smart's level, but basically nobody is outside of Alabama and on the periphery, Ohio State. And that's about it. But uh, Brent Venables is making a pretty good go of it right now with uh, about the fifth best uh, class last I checked into it uh, for this 23 cycle. So you all have to be happy with uh, Brent Venables coming off a six and seven season, able to haul in a recruiting class that's in the top five in the nation. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, absolutely. I think that's, um, you, you know, and I think it was a little bit fool's gold on the defensive side of the ball. The, the guys that Oklahoma was able to get, um, you, you know, from uh, with in, in Alex Grinch's is tenure, um, you know, because I think go no further than look at the transfer portal. A lot of the defensive guys that Oklahoma had processed, they're either – you know they're not getting the offers that they're that they're wanting, or they've got two or three guys that are going to Texas State. You know, not a lot of Power Five interest in, in some of those kids. So, you know, I think recruiting is an interesting game, um, Mark. In in terms of, you know, a lot of it's evaluation. Even though there's a kid that's a um, there's a kid that is a a high four star or a, you know whatever they are. You know the evaluation, you know, could look different from program to program and, um, you know, coach to coach. So I think, you know, I think a perfect example is um, when you when you look at and, and who knows what's going to materialize from a kid like that. But when you look at um, PJ Adabari, when Oklahoma initially got in on him last year and started recruiting him, he was a relative unknown, a three star kid. Um, at that point, wasn't really high in the rankings, but then since then, just just had a had a monster, monster senior year. And I think before it's all said and done, he's going to be a guy that could potentially end up being the number one defensive end in the country from a recruiting perspective. So, um, so you so you look at that on, on, in terms of finding diamonds in the rough or finding guys that really are, you know, really are are, are guys that are you know, under undervalued initially, and then everybody sees exactly how good they are when certain teams start recruiting them. So, so yeah, you've got some, you've got some guys that um, obviously have track record for, for bringing in um, and, and coaching at, at a very, very high level with Todd Bates and with uh, Brent Venables specifically. Uh, Jay Valai has done a really, really good job on the recruiting cycle, a recruiting front as well. So we'll see once you get those guys in. Um, would would not be surprised at all to see a lot of these younger kids, you know, freshmen and sophomores, start being a little bit more prevalent in the um, in the you know in that too deep coming in next year. 